this, I don't know what is it, two and a half inch of snow. Have to defrost that, that looks to be the tool to go to Lammer in it in a bit anyway. Nick's just rung, said everyone's crashing on the bridge outside. So maybe we get some urea on the road and melt some of the ice and the slush. Lads are getting some de-icing urea. I'll go with the bucket and see if I can scrape some of the snow off so there's less to sort of dilute. I think the camera mount's gonna fall off in a second, but I'll just scrape this, this snow off this bridge and then when we put the de-icing salt on it'll work better. Rob's turning all the cars around because there's a big crash the other side of the bridge now. It's a Mercedes here, stuck. Wheel drives are struggling. <laughs> oh well, we got the traffic moving over the bridge again now. Rob's going one way up the road. I'm going the other. And once we've got some of this slushy ice off. The urea should start melting it then. Just don't want to dilute it too much with loads of snow. But it's a two Merlot job. Morgan and Ian are just scattering some more on the worst bits. Road's back open now. Feel like the other one might be a bit blocked because there's not any cars coming past, but that's now slush it was just glass before now we put some urea on it but the problem is we've obviously not been able to do the whole road i don't want everyone hooning it over the bridge and then not realizing the other side that it's not gritted as well because they've kind of up in the speed a bit now anyway we've done our bit motorways are running fine so that's good we're getting to birmingham T and J here for loads of OSR. So I don't know, that's two of them. Oh no, it's Union Bank Farm Scan yeah, K2 UBF and another one. It's Roscoe Haulage, but they're both all in for T and J, so they're loading up now. They normally crash into our offices, this uh, wall and or fence, especially now the bridge is, looks good, even though it's still slushy and icy. So I'm gonna put this on the lawn stop them so at least if they hit it they hit something soft not something hard yeah normally what happens they come over that hill and they get a bit of a tail wag on come down here and then either smash into that fence or that wall so i'll put that bale of straw there now so at least it'll slow them down or protect them a bit because the yard's quite slippy rob's just loading the trucks on the, well just near the waybridge save them maneuvering around the yard comes now it's like 14 bucket full it's easy than having a wagon stuck in the middle of the yard on the ice wrong way that's the one I'm going to try and brush the snow off the way bridge with the little solace Be a four wheel drive, doesn't it? Bear with.
Charlotte's here, ready to hitchhike to, uh, where are we going? Lama. Uh, Morgan's going to brush the yard up. We've spent that long doing the road that now everyone's driven through our yard. We've now got ice and we probably have ice now for about a week. We should have perhaps done our yard first. Anyway, let's uh, saddle up the Yaris and hit the road. That's actually scraping up, not too bad. Wonder if he's going to scrape any cat's eyes up though. Don't really do that. Don't forget, check out their stand tomorrow for a free pen and a mug. Gamba, the chicken muck people. Behind the scenes of Lama 2024. They're yeah, just coming. Oh, look at this. Concrete mixer. <laughs> so this is the... I saw this on the motorway the other day, actually. It overtook me when I was coming back from Wales. Time to max all. You get some concrete in that bad boy, won't you? Go on, go and stand next to it for scale. Look at the height that goes. That's huge. That's what they had at the AD plant the other week, one of them, but without axles. Driven off electric. It's bigger than our sheds. <laughs> Just put cows in that. Oh, there's spread a bale. Okay, they've got some spread a bales. A few of them. Found the Merlot moving. 13.9, so 13 metres. No, it's not. That's the number they've got on the side of it. Lifting in some Dale drills. Got weavings here. Oh, nice pink Bailey trailer over there. Really? You all right? all right? Good, yeah. yeah. Look at that. Morris Caulfield. Took wells. The banks are here, Oxbury Bank. It's that mottled paint. That's like a protector in it so that this doesn't stone chip. That looks cool with the pink hubs on it. Raffle tickets for it, but £25 ticket, wasn't it? Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, Wardy. Um, yeah, it's well, it certainly it's stands up. All right, so it's, it's been won. Yeah, it's been won. 25, All right. I think it's £20, £25 ticket. Unless there's two. In aid of breast cancer. In the high lift, so you can go over the hedge into another thing so you don't mess the road up. We used to have tyre high lifts with wooden sides. See who's on the Spalding stand. I think they've got some seed socks here. The bar doesn't look very interesting, it's all water. So if you come to the Spalding yeah. Sand and find Max or anyone, you can buy a seed sock and it comes with a free rucksack and a hat. And you can take it home with you if you really want to carry it or they'll post it to you. What else have they got? Bam, so, oh, that's a big press. Oh, look, hats. Hey. Is that a 50 ton press? like Bill and Joe's got one of them. That'd be good for clearing snow. Could have done that this morning. What else have they got? Little cedars. Is that like a mini mulcher? Can I have a look at the mulcher? Yeah. A little baby one. That's like 180 horsepower tractor horsepower at um, PTO range. And it would take up to that diameter. Yeah. Great, it's like 325 mil. <laughs> He's trying to watch the football and you're hoovering near him. He's like your mother. <laughs> Is that for a mini digger, That's that one? That's a robot. All right. So you can put that on those um, like green climbers, uh, uh, bobcat flail bots, and uh, they can run them from that. Long you've got to up to 60 to 720 litres of climbing. Carbide teeth as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah so you've got junction carbide there, and that's a reversible one, so you've got two edges on that one. <clears throat> And then they've got these little shaft things. This is a good thing about it. It's like called their peak up performance. So it's a bit like having a bike limiter on a chain. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't Slow. scrap. Yeah. yeah. So you keep your RPM up. And it's the same on... Um, that, that's one for a digger, is it? Yeah. From 10 to 16 tonne. So, so you've got the same... Yeah, yeah. Same routes on there. But you can, you can have the two combinations. So, you can have different... so how come there's not a bike limiter on the PTO one? Uh... 
with the bigger horsepower tractors, you don't get that sort of stalling out with the hydraulics. You can tell it just to keep that momentum up. Oh, so I see, yeah. Looks strong. So on like. the smaller machines, I'll put the bi-limiter on, <coughs> but the bigger ones. But we've got a good offer on that tomorrow, so you'll see. And we have got badges. We've put badges prices on. Oh, yeah, that's what we want to see, prices, yeah, yeah. And they're not out yet, but they will be on the machine. <laughs> ah. What's this one here? Is this just like our front one? Tripping over the plastic. You want to over up here? There's some plastic on the floor. Yeah, that's just the same. That's the same as ours, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But we put ours didn't come with a rubber flap. We put one on it, but now it does, does it? They come as standard. Yeah, rubber flap front and back. Yeah. And then that's the size fly out. Twenty-seven mil. Yeah, yeah. Bins, and they got different. Um, oh yeah, different thing now. Got a peg tab. now instead of having a square. Yeah. Ah. And then you've got your all your different wearing parts. It's like open field are setting up now. Last year they had really good biscuits. If you go on there, ask for Joe and see if they've got good biscuits. Body stand stand all ready to go. Plastic off the carpet. I've not seen one of them before. A pro seed them. Oh, it's a maze drill, isn't it? It's like Krona getting the briefing for the stand. It's like Gareth's here all set up. Just on the cramp stand, because everyone loves a big rack. Carolina, is that how you pronounce it, Carolina? It's Carolina, yeah. Yeah, I, I always... Hi, yeah, so she's here tomorrow, and they've... Look at this. Well, one, look at that for a start. It's a hydraulic pipe maker, so when you blow a pipe in the middle of the night, you can make your own up, as long as you've got all the fittings. That is more important than that. But anyway, I want to show you this, because they now do it where you can get stickers for your parts. So if you've got, like, a that's a seed tine harrow, if you've run out of them and the gap's empty, you scan the barcode and it orders it. But not only that, it's got a photograph on the label. So when you do scan the barcode, you know you're ordering what you need. Because you don't want to scan a barcode and find out, you know, you get a pair of work gloves turn up. But because the pictures are on it, it works. Which is really clever, I think. But yeah, I think we've got like two or three of them racks. Well, now you can get like ones that fit parts in as well. So come and find it tomorrow. Say Ollie sent you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So you're, are you doing a demo with that tomorrow? Or is it just here to look at? We just, you can look and ask the questions. We also have a gym tomorrow for hydraulic uh, specialists. You can ask all questions you need. And you're doing a competition where you can win £3,000 worth of racking. So yeah, so come, come on to the cramp stand. It's quite easy to find because it's by Crone. So there you go. Hello. When you come to cramp tomorrow, you can win £250 worth of cramp goodies if you can hang off that thing for the longest possible time. Right, there's Cramp, there's Crone, there's more. And then here is the tractor pulling club. So they've got, I was gonna say a couple, but there's, there's more than a couple. One, two, three, four, five. I think six seven seven tractor pullers on it so david jones is just there wits team here with aftermaths here we've got snoopy in the back with the airplane engines on a little baby one uh ellie paces is here i think i think i think they've got a thing on tomorrow at see is it 11 o'clock they've got a load of um i suppose I suppose pretty girls on the stand is the easiest way to describe it. So, um, yeah, at 11 o'clock tomorrow, so if you're here, come and have a look at the tractor pullers. In fact, it's all happening. You've got the tractor pullers there, cramp, crow, and the 4955 we were looking at the other day on the Cornthwaite stand. Looking superb. I presume they must be selling clothing, but not here yet well this is our local John Deere dealership and that's the one that had done up the other week and I know the previous owner as well because they watch the videos looks like Case are having a team meeting do you want to go and stand next to that massive quad track for scale the 715 quad track 
I reckon that was the one that was Agritechnica. That's a beast, isn't it? There's a challenge for you at Lama. See if you can find something with a bigger drawbar pin than that, because I don't think you can. A quad track in my price bracket. I saw this last year, actually. That was cool in black. It's called Tony. I don't know if I'm the bigger version's called Anthony. Look at that black. Just take that key off and just put like a little piece of black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you giving away tomorrow, Ben, anyway, or just a discount on lights? What's on the what's the deal for tomorrow? Oh, we've got loads of good deals on. Check it out. In fact, you can buy my merch on your stand. Calendars and hats and stuff. Calendars. Calendars. Has this got UTV lights on it though? No. Nah. Well, that's good though, isn't it? This is what the bee man needs. Loan his beehives. Little uh, cedars. Oh, look. Smart boxes are here. It's a gold 720, the 500,000th tractor. In 50 years, that must have been it. And there's Kirby tyres right next to Fent. So this is where we're doing this panel thing tomorrow. That must be the three seats for me, Tom and Rebecca. They've got some new tyres. I think they go on low loaders. I don't know whether they're here or not. Let's have a look. Can we see them? That might be them. I think so that's the same footprint i think as a, yeah 17.5 that's the same footprint as a twin but it doesn't have the sausage in the middle sorry same dimensions but it's actually got a bigger footprint than a twin without leaving a sausage on the road when you pull out on the road now is this the new solace is that the 90 horsepower one i think it is what's this one here 75 yeah i think this is the new one the 90 horsepower one now if you come on the solid stand at agritechnica they were giving away um usb memory card memory pen things they were in the shape of a tractor which i thought was cool it's cool with the black rims metallic blue that's got black rims as well. They look well better with black rims than they do with silver rims. Which is what that one's got. So on the smart boxes now, you can get a roller from underneath, which is something we were talking about in the summer. So when you're bailing, you can squash the row down, get it under your pickup pitch. <laughs> and got it in class green. New Holland blue, Fent green, grey, what would be grey? I suppose any tractor. Yeah, smart mover as well for, I think a few people do these now for moving machines around. Good staff are humming on the way out, random. What's this for here, this little black thing? Uh, for a vice. Oh, a vice. That should be on it. It's in here, isn't ah. it? I thought it might have been for your, your flagpole or something. There you go. Mm, hats as well, eh? So is the show deals on him? Yeah, there is, yeah. Mr. Smartbox Man, is the show deals? He's pretending he's not heard me. Mr. Smartbox, is the show deals on these? So I need to sign for a Welshman. <laughs> Come and talk to me tomorrow about the show deal. What, have you got refreshments? No. Oh, just just, just cheap boxes. I get you a pack of bourbons if you ask nicely. You get, sort of, you get a packet of custard creams with every smart box. If you come and find him tomorrow, ask him for some custard creams. So that's the vice. Mm. Is it an Irwin one? Is it, is it record? record? Is it Irwin or record that make the vices? 
record make places, but this isn't a record. This it's will a, be a record over. Let's see. Moment of truth. It's like Christmas, this, isn't it? Yeah. It's a it's a record, isn't it? Yeah. Break that up. One ton as well, you can use it for towing stuff out. It's alright, it's okay. You're gonna put more gas someday. 220 litres. 220 litres? You know that quad track that's over there? Mm -hmm. They were saying that it come up low fuel level, it still had 240 litres left in it. It has a 1900 litre fuel tank on it. So you'd have to you'd have to fill that 10 times nearly. <laughs> the aliens have landed. UTV have got all the... Could our whippy things do that? Yeah. 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 Can they? Yeah, Rob's got a remote control and an app for them. An app Rob's for them? Out. I didn't know it'd do that. Look at those calendars. Oh yeah, look at them calendars. Oh, I didn't know it did that. Oh, Jesus, they're bright. They're good, aren't they? Now, we've got these as well. Oh. Whip, destroy, light up whippy aerials. That's bright, that, isn't it? That's what we've got on the fence, isn't it? The 936? Yeah. We're improvising with the birthday bumper, so Charlotte Ashley is drawing a Bateman. The problem is the bumper's quite small. There's the birthday bumper, off you go. Let's go and see. Okay, so we've got Anthony. I can't read my own writing. <laughs> Anthony Greg Gregorington, is it? Tom Sheldon's 11, Matthew Phillips is 42, Tom Pierce is 22, Alfie Bufton is 15, Natalie Hall's 38, Ben Weaver's 16, Alex Sanger's 60, and Will Latchford said well done. There you go, there's today's, there's today's birthday bumper. It's really loud, but luckily I've got the road mics. And here's Tom's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> some know him as Tom's cousin and some know him as Eros. It's so loud in here, but that is all for today. We will see you probably tomorrow at the Lama Show. Uh, yeah, it's Lama. I know you call it Tillage then. Yeah, Lama Show. Uh, two o'clock on the Kirby Tyre stand. Three o'clock on the FCN stand. Come and say hello. Bye.